everyone welcome to my channel my name is Courtney Alma if you're new here as well as welcome back to my returning subscribers speaking of being new here we have gained some extra subscribers this past couple weeks and I am so excited we are very 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 close to 500 subscribers here on this page and I'm excited to be able to do a 500 subscriber giveaway so hopefully if you guys continue to keep sharing and um, subscribing and all the things that we will hit 500 subscribers by next video and I will be able to do that giveaway so that's gonna be so much fun um, a quick update too. speaking of videos and filming um, I am going to have my wisdom teeth taken out in next week and also we are going to be celebrating Aiden's fifth birthday so we're gonna celebrate him and then I'm going to have my surgery and be recovering from that. So I will have a video in probably two weeks. You will see me. But once I film again, we will be back on regular scheduled programming and having a video every week. Um, I enjoy to be able to have a video every week versus skipping a couple weeks or, or things happen. I know things happen, but... I feel like I get off track when it's it's too much time in between because I'm like what have I shared what haven't I shared if I put things away that I've bought instead of leaving it out to show you guys um, which I did some this week I've done put some of my stuff away but um, I'm very excited to be back to regular schedules each week filming for you guys and I noticed that I was doing Floss Two Fridays so I think going forward, I'm going to upload on Saturday so you guys are able to enjoy the videos um, on Saturdays and Sundays. I know a lot of you guys work on Friday, so I'm very excited to be able to have that for you guys to enjoy on the weekend. Um, so look forward to probably the videos being on Saturdays from now on um, and each week. So that's going forward. Let's just go ahead and jump into my cross stitch now that we've gotten updates out of the way. So I have two fin previous finishes this week. Um, my first one is Fall Home by Stitching with the Housewives. And this is just stitched on 18 count Ivory Ada. And it's, um, I FFO'd it on one of those like house um, decor signs that was in the dollar spot at Target that I had gotten last year. And, um, there's my previous finish of it if you haven't seen it and then I show this every year because I'm still obsessed with it since the day I this was fully finished to begin with so I stitched this back in 2018 fall of 2018 right before I had my son and um, my mother actually FFO'd it for me and she did absolutely amazing it is pumpkin spice farm by hands on design and she made it into this wonderful pillow and incredible the way it is it is held up um, from moving I've moved a couple times since then and everything and it is held a perfect shape I think she um, what she's always done phenomenal with this um, with making pillows and things. Um, I think when she FFO'd this one, she was following Vana's tutorial, uh, but the Twisted Stitcher of um, how she makes and stuffs her pillows. So I'll definitely have that one linked below her tutorial if you guys wanna follow along. But it is pillow has held up amazing and I absolutely love it every single year. I stitched this. This was when I was still starting out stitching. Um, I stitched this on 14 count oatmeal Ada and um, I absolutely love it so of course I had to share it again with you guys this year if you haven't seen it already okay and then I had I shared it on Instagram when I fully finished it um, but I'm gonna show you guys again so you guys can see this was sunflower farm by stitching with the housewives and I stitched this on that 32 count gray check Lugana that I got from Fat Quarter Shop. And I changed some of the colors to be able to see it on that check. So there is my finish of Sunflower Farm. This was also a part of Colorado Cross Stitchers Cross Stitch Camp 2023. 
and um, the month of July was a stitch something that grows um, or planted, I believe. And this is what I decided on, Sunflower Farm. And it is very beautiful and I absolutely love it to be able to display with my sunflower things. So that was that finish. Um, okay, moving on to my whips. And when I got, when I tell you guys, I had the absolute most fun besides, you know, dealing all that with my teeth and everything this past week. But I had the absolute most fun picking out what I was going to stitch on, some of my fall pieces. I stitched on a couple things, moved around this past couple weeks. And I cannot wait to be able to share with you guys. I had the most fun stitching. So without further ado, let's get started with my whip pile. So I started this actually, um, was it yesterday, day before? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I started this yesterday um, for World Cross Stitch Day, which is August 11th. And um, the French Giraffe, she shared um, her hometown series patterns. And I ran immediately to her Etsy page and my first one of the hometown series that I purchased was the bookstore that she has. Um, I'll definitely have the series linked below. Definitely check out the French Giraffe. She has such beautiful patterns, uh, such a sweetheart, and I love being able to um, stitch her stuff. She's also the designer, if you guys followed me up for a while, she's the designer that I stitched the Irish Santa from. And so definitely go check out her page. Um, but this is just the start of the bookstore. I just started filling in the top part of it. And I stitched this on, I picked out a 28 count, just like this blue. It was a scrap piece of fabric. I didn't have a name or anything on it. Um, so I'm not quite sure exactly where it came from, but it was what I thought was the perfect blue that went with this pattern. Um, so that's what I decided to stitch on. It is 28 count, but that was my start for World Cross Stitch Day. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely comment below what you started. If you started any projects on World Cross Stitch Day, um, I love seeing a good bit on Instagram, but if you don't follow me on Instagram and you're just on YouTube, definitely let me know if there's something that you stitched as well or what you're working on. Um, I love being able to see that and I love you guys tagging and sharing and all the things as well. It just melts my heart to see other stitchers enjoying the same things that I'm stitching on as well. Okay, let's see. My next whip was, this is Foxy Fall by Stitching with the Housewives. And I just have it printed, just the chart. I didn't have the front page printed, so I'm not able to show you. But I can kind of explain a little bit. It says fall at the top. It has a fox and a pumpkin and like a leaf kind of garland around it. It's very cute. And this was my start. And I'm just stitching this on, um, what is this, 16 count? Yep, 16 count chalkboard Ada. And that's how far I got. Like I said, I would stitch a little bit on something. Then I was excited to move on to a next, the next project. So I'm going to pick these pieces back up, but I had so much fun looking at all the fall things. And then of course, if you guys know, the needlework market is at the end of this month and I've pre-ordered a few things. Um, so many beautiful patterns that have come out. Let me, let me know below too, as well, if you are getting anything from needlework market and what are you looking forward to? If there's something that you, that really caught your eye and you're wanting to stitch. I know Silver Creek Samplers has a couple patterns that I'm just in awe over. Um, Brenda Gervais with I Needle and Thread. I mean, there's so many designers that's, that's, that's coming out with stuff for market. So excited to see what your favorites are as well. And... As mine come in that I've pre-ordered and gotten, I will share this, of course, with you guys. Okay, so my next whip is Harvest Glory by Sweet Wing Studio. And I mentioned, I believe it was in the last video, I mentioned that I had a Sweet Wing pattern that I was going to stitch on this fabric. 
this 32 count gray check Lugana from Fat Quarter Shop and this is the one that I picked out. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I did change out some of the colors for it. Um, I changed that red that I'm using is um, by Classic Color Works is Cherry Cobbler. And then it's these beautiful details of the apple and acorn and and all that goes down. There's like a pumpkin and corn. So it's very beautiful. Um, I can't wait to show that fully finished with you guys. But that is my start on Harvest Glory by Sweet Wing Studio. Let me make sure. I did write down if you want to know what all colors I did change out. I did write all of it down this time. I'm trying to get better at using my project, <laughs> my project planner. Um, but I'm very excited to share that finish with you guys. Okay, so I had mentioned last month was with Colorado Cross Stitcher for Cross Stitch Camp. Last month was the Sunflower Farm that I stitched. And the previous month in June, I would stitched Marching Birds by um, Stone Street Stitchworks. This month for August is stitch something, whether it's a thread count, a fabric, a pattern, something that is new to you that you haven't done before. And I completely went out of my comfort zone. I called my mom, I'm like, am I crazy? But I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to jump in and dive in. And I think it's going to be absolutely stunning when I get it fully finished. <laughs> when I do get it finished one day. But the pattern is... Oh, I've been dying to stitch this. The pattern is Autumn Quakers. And this is designed by Karen. And I don't want to mess up the last name. But it is a Rosewood Manor pattern. I know you guys have seen how stunning this pattern is and I'm finally going out of my comfort zone and gonna stitch this and I can't wait to show you this fabric. So I picked 32 count Cordy Special Blend by r and Linen and I'm stitching this one over one. <gasps> You guys okay so i don't have for this pattern i don't have the called for um threads that it has it's like a, a thread pack i don't have that but i am using similar variegated colors from classic color works or weak style works i have a mix of both uh, fall colors for it and i'm going to substitute it that way but there's my little start but like i said is one over one so it's going to be teeny tiny i think it focused enough you guys this fabric is so beautiful i cannot wait to have this fully finished to show you uh, something i'm definitely going to treasure for years years and years and years to come because here's this pattern again so you can see hopefully you can see a close-up of all the beautiful details of Autumn Quakers. And I've had this, like I said, in my stash for a long time. And now I'm finally just going out of my comfort zone and stitching that. So you will see a post too I'm gonna to make on Instagram for Cross Stitch Camp for it as well. So that is my August start. Okay, so so next is the um, Evergreen Stitch Along with Pat Quarter Shop and I'm stitching this on 28 count antique ivory and this is as much as I've gotten done last week I believe it was last week they had released part four and when I last left you guys I had had part one, part two, and I started on part three. I had this little present done down here. Um, so since then, I have stitched, I've completed H and T, so it made the word bright, went around and completed the border, and then I picked up on the tree. Let's see if I can hold it. There we go. I picked up on the tree and filled in more here and here and I've completed that present and a couple stars 
So all I have left is finish the tree and a couple presents here on page four that I need to get completed. But this is my progress on the Evergreen Stitch Along with Pat Quarter Shop. So there's my progress. Okay, so I did say like I was going through some of my fall patterns and this is one I was so excited to pick up. Again, this is October's Party by Little House Needleworks. And I'm stitching this on 16 count and it's lightly dunked, um, 16 count Ada, it's just lightly dunked in um, coffee tea dyed. So there's that pattern. It says, October gave a party, the leaves by hundreds came, the chestnuts, oaks, and maples, and leaves of every name. The sunshine spread a carpet and everything was grand. Miss Weather led the dancing, Professor went the band. So ah, I was so excited to pick this back up. And I'm just gonna show you how much, I haven't ironed it yet because I haven't stitched on it this week. Um, but that's how much I've gotten done so far. So I plan to go along this side and get that vase um, stitched as well as some of the words on that side. I don't know, maybe I'll stitch on this a couple days and get it just fully finished. I mean, um, just finished. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna feel with this coming up week and everything, but oh, it makes me so excited. My mind, mentally, I'm in fall. Mentally, uh, it's fresh, crisp air, all the things, but it's, it's not. <laughs> it is very, very hot. Um, I know some of you guys are south from me. I'm in East Tennessee. It, some of you guys are talking about how hot it is as well where you guys are at. So I don't want to complain because it is hot, but it's not as hot as some of you guys. <laughs> um, but we are almost there to fall. Almost there. Um, okay, so my last whip was I would stitched... Um, I want to get back to my Sunday stitches. So next week, that's what I plan to do. And I plan to pick up my Jeremiah 29 11 scripture. And um, I decided to stitch Stars and Stripes Saturday. So this past Saturday, I worked on God Bless America by Stitching with the Housewives. And picked that one up for Stars and Stripes Saturday. And this is as much as I've gotten done. And I'm stitching this on um, 28 count tea dyed Monaco. It was already pre-dyed. And Stars and Stripes Saturday, I picked up and stitched the top of this house, as well as brought down my stitch in here. And then I picked it back up and finished the B um, and some of the leaves and floral here. So that is what I worked on that Saturday. And I need to get this one done, I really do. Maybe I'll pick this one up again for Stars and Stripes. Maybe I'll do that this week. I'll do Stars and Stripes Saturday and Sunday Stitches. So those will be two you guys can look forward to to see progress that I have on those. I did win the giveaway a couple weeks ago with Stitching with the Housewives and I won the Ort tray that they have that snaps open, I mean snaps closed that you can lay flat open and I wanted to keep it close so you guys could see how big it is when it's all snapped together. It's very pretty with a beautiful plaid. Um, this is perfect for if you're going to retreats or traveling, you're able to snap it flat to be able to carry and travel with it. So that was so fun. I'm so thankful that I won that. That was awesome. And then I was able to pick out a pattern of choice and I decided on home is where the wreath is. I've seen so many beautiful finishes of, um, especially the wreath, the celebration wreaths that they also have as well that you can stitch to put, replace the wreath. Um, very beautiful finishes. So I'm excited to be able to stitch this as well and have it displayed. So that one was the pattern that I decided to pick out. Um, I did get some haul from Hobby Lobby. There's a few things of sunflowers behind me as well as I got the double pack of like the football um, tray kind of things. It was the football and the helmet. So I grabbed that from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got some sunflowers as well as um, sunflowers for like stickers and stuff for my planners. 
um, I grabbed some cotton as well as I found this pretty truck that I can change out different things to fill it with. So I grabbed that. And then at some point this past week, I made a trip to Dollar General and I saw some of their fall items out. So I grabbed this tobacco basket that they had and I'm thinking about finishing it, painting it and putting Sunflower Farm in the middle with a ribbon and Sunflower I think will be super cute. So that's what I grabbed that one for. And then at some point I was in Dollar Tree and I saw this. It was actually like hidden down on the bottom shelf. So I'm surprised I saw it, but it is just a little pumpkin stand thought was super cute so i grabbed that for some of my displays um i also bought like some patterns and things this past week on etsy and like i said i do have some pre-order patterns that will be coming in i'm excited to share those with you guys um pray for me this week with my wisdom teeth removal and everything i hope aiden has the best birthday i can't wait to tell you guys all about it i'm sure he will absolutely enjoy it um, we are doing a Dr. Seuss theme this year. He is obsessed with Dr. Seuss books, so it's going to be an absolute blast. Um, and then just recovery until then. But I'll see you guys soon. Um, definitely keep up with me on Instagram. I post um, more over there than I do here. I try to keep you guys up to date on all platforms, but um, definitely more on Instagram. Um, follow me there at CourtneyAlma underscore. That is all for me today. I hope you guys have a blessed week and happy stitching.